Fora TV. The world is thinking. The year after Frank Drake did his first observations, he got together some of the world's top scientists, including um, Carl Sagan, you might have heard of. And in fact, they had a meeting at Green Bank where they tried to estimate how likely it was that there would be other civilizations out there who might be trying to communicate with us. And in fact, in the um, little transcript, there's a picture I've put in of a plaque which are at Green Bank of the very room where they actually developed what's called the Drake Equation, which looks pretty horrible. Don't worry about it. I'll explain it very simply, says he hopefully. Now, just think about this. Ignoring time travel, so the time it takes light to travel, imagine that the galaxy is here, and we're way up here looking down at the whole of our galaxy. Every so often, theoretically, a civilization will arise and reach the point where it could communicate. That might, one could say, have happened at this location in the galaxy maybe 30, 40 years ago. Imagine a light comes on. So we see this light coming on. Sometime later, depending on how quickly advanced civilizations arrive, another light will go on somewhere, and then another, and another. But of course, a civilization like ours may not live or in a, a state where it can communicate for that long. So can you see at some point the light will go out? And can you see that the number of other civilizations with whom we could communicate are the number of lights on at any one time? And that depends upon, firstly, how often they arise, but secondly, and just as important, how long they live. Does that make sense? And the how long they live is this simple term L at the end, and all this bit, which we're going to look at in a minute, determines how often they arise. But now look at this sum. Supposing civilizations arose every 100,000 years, which is not totally stupid. If civilizations only lived in a state where they could communicate for 1,000 years, can you see the chance of having two at once is very low? If, on the other hand, as not, it's not impossible that civilizations lived for 10 million years, then you'd have 100. Do you see what I'm getting at? So it's, it's a function of these two things. So what the Drake equation first of all tries to do is to work out how often advanced civilizations arise. And those terms that look horrible, basically, I'm going to take you through step by step, very simply, try and do that particular thing. And then all we have to do is to make some sort of guess for the value of L, and we've got our answer. Now, 